guys, welcome back. Sunday morning, beautiful day again, uh, not too hot. Uh, we're on our way to uh, a winery tour this morning um, in French, and followed by a visit to uh, Watkins Glen uh, Racetrack, and uh, we're going to get the Triumphs out on the track. So that's looking forward to that. I had the uh, TR6 out on Mosport International Raceway last week, so this weekend will be uh, Mosport, or uh, Watkins Glen. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'll, I'll turn you on uh, during the course of the day. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Pretty nice view out in the country. Going down Long Hill. Cornfields. Grapevines. And Triumphs. Cool. All right, well, everybody's in... Uh, having some wine and uh, having a little bit of brunch. I thought I'd come out and take a picture, a quick shot of all the cars lined up. So this concourse is the front line. Nice, nice TR3s, TR3As actually. Nice TR4. Four nice TR6s. Now we've got to move that seven. And then these are all the participants choice cars lined up in the uh, shade. These are the early sixes, so up to, we can classify those up to 1973, 69 to 73. And these are the later ones, which are 74 to 76. You can see them, they have the rubber bumpers, unless somebody has decided to take them off, like this gentleman. So quite a few uh, late TR6s, quite a few early TR6s. And then we have TR8 and participant's choice. That'll be joined by the TR7, it's the same class. And then we have three Spitfires, all yellow, which is kind of unusual in the Participants' Choice class as well. And then we have what we call Friends of Triumph. These are guys who are just sort of tagging along with the club. They actually own Triumphs, and for one reason or another, maybe they're restoring a car or it's not quite running up to standards. Uh, this gentleman owns a TR250. This gentleman owns a uh, TR6. So they didn't quite uh, make the trip, so they thought they'd be more comfortable bringing their uh, their daily drivers. So anyway, so it's just a quick view of the field before uh, all the judging happens for the uh, concourse cars, and all the voting happens for the participants' choice cars. All right, nice venue, nice winery, right on the water. A little bit cloudy. Doesn't look like it's threatening to rain though, which is a good thing. All right, we'll leave you there. Okay, judging started for the concourse cars. And uh, people are relaxing and just having an enjoyable afternoon. Tough competition between the TR3s, that's for sure. Fairly similar cars, one's the black interior, one's tan interior. Concourse cars have their uh, bonnet and boot open. Normally they would have their top up, but it's just too hot out right now, so if they need to put the top up, it'll be for tiebreaker purposes. Maybe it's crabgrass. Everybody wave hello.
Guys, we made it to uh, Watkins Glen. And it's a little gray. We're hoping it doesn't rain. A little cloudy. But we're all lined up, ready to go. Can you take out the camera? In the back of the back. Pace car is up in uh, in the front. We're gonna do some laps behind the pace car. Camry pace car. So there's a starting grid for today's race. Pumping the tires up for the track.
just getting home from my uh, weekend down in uh, Bath, uh, New York State. Turn left on Fifth Court. Finger Lakes. It's been a good drive today. Um, it's been pretty windy though. Uh, high winds today. And actually a little, a little cold. I got the top up. I actually had the windows up for uh, part of the trip. And uh, arriving at home on right. It's pretty comfortable. give you the stats here in a second. Beat the rain, which is good. That right, car ran really good. So here we go. You can see that. So 1,231.1 kilometers traveled. Moving time 1640. Stop 14 or 439. My max speed was 141. 141 kilometers. I think that was on uh, Watkins Glen. And the moving average was 73.8 kilometers. So, anyway, good trip. Glad to be home. I'm gonna put her in the garage, and I'm gonna relax. We'll talk to you later.